Good morning. I'm just wondering if um, we are being heard. So we're going to wait a few minutes and we got some healing scriptures that we're going to um, talk about today. And as we start speaking these healing scriptures, your mind is going to acknowledge every good thing in you. Amen. So just let me know, Diana, when you can hear my voice. Amen. So, faith and healing scriptures. You're not hearing me? Well, that's okay. Maybe it's your phone. Okay. Faith and healing scriptures. Surely he has borne. Could you please, someone online, tell me if you can hear me? Number one. Let me just pop on myself. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I just command the blessing upon me and upon you. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. I, I, you know, it's good that I can be heard. And uh, I just know that, you know, sometimes. There it is. Okay, good. All right, we're waiting for a few people to pop on. Make sure you share this video with other people. I'm brought here by the Lord Jesus Christ for this day. You need your healing to manifest? Well, it sure will. And it says that video has no sound, huh? Other people. It has sound on mine. So, hallelujah. Technical difficulty? I don't think so. Can you hear me? Make sure that you put up there, say, I can hear you, Pastor Ron. And please share the healing scriptures with us today. Amen. Because that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you. Good morning, Joan. Can you hear me? Joan, I'm just wondering. Being harassed over here. <laughs> that's a good thing. Thank you so much, Joan. Um, we're going to talk about healing scriptures today. We're going to renew our mind in the word of God. We're going to see the healing manifest because you already have it on the inside of you. Every born again believer has the same power that rose Jesus from the dead. Amen. So wherever that if you might be sick or someone else might be sick, make sure you share this video. Keep sharing it out there because this is the word of God. The word of God is complete and he'll watch over his word to perform it. It's law. It's already done. So the performance is inevitable. Testimony time. You know, I, yeah, uh, two days ago, I, Diana wanted to get some laundry detergent and she kept on saying, I want to go get laundry detergent. That's the greatest thing for a man. It's like, yeah, we, we should go get some laundry detergent. <laughs> You know, and, but it just didn't feel like it was time, right? So, but as the day went on, she kept on asking. I said, honey, we'll be going very shortly. So we did. It was timing. So we went up, we walked around the, the shopping center and, and uh, we went to the checkout. This is testimony time. And as we went to checkout, this, this one man that always talks to us. Matter of fact, he gave us back on Passover, on Christmas, he gave us two cases of matzahs. Wow, I just realized that. A while ago, this man, we've been kept on getting encounters. He kept on, we kept on prophesying to him. We've been kept on speaking for him to get a new job. You know, he's been going through many trials, but every one of them he has been delivered from. So he gave us the matzah. Remember the matzah? It has holes in it on purpose. It has stripes in it, right? His body was broken for us, amen? Amen. But he gave me two cases, not just two packs, two big cases of matzahs. Man, I was eating matzah and I gave a case away to another lady <laughs> for a while. But that's not what I'm talking about here. This day, two days ago, we came to the cash register and we started checking out in the line. Uh, you know, those the machines that where you can self-check out. And, and he came up and says, hey, I'm getting a new job. We said, man, that's great. You know, here's my flesh. I just want to get out of there, get back home. And and uh, and it, the conversation twisted. And he says, I have stage three cancer. And um, I'm in extreme pain right now. And I looked at him and I said, okay. So are you ready for your healing? 
And he just looked at me and he goes, yes, with, here goes the Holy Spirit. Tears starts coming down his eyes. And, and I started to speak the scriptures to him. I said to him, surely he has bored your grief and sickness, weakness and distresses and carried our own pains of punishment. Yet ignorantly, we considered him stricken, smitten, afflicted of God as with leprosy, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and equities, the chastisement of the peace uh, and, and by, it says, and, and being for us was upon him. And his with his stripes, the wounds him, we are made whole, healed, set free, and delivered, and prospered right now. And his eyes, he goes, I said, pain leave in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is still working right now. The Holy Spirit is always working. Amen. He, he has not stopped and he won't. You can look at the trees. He said, let them multiply after the kind. We're still multiplying too. Let, let, we're, I mean, his seed is still working. His word is alive. Look around you. All creation is praising God. It's telling you, I'm still here. I have not left you nor forsake you. How can I? I live on the inside of you. Amen. So you got to receive these as words of knowledge. And I speak to back pain to leave now in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> it's righteous go through some afflictions, but the Lord delivers them from every single one of them. Amen. Amen. So he says to me on the line, the one with stage three cancer, he goes, I, I, all of a sudden the Lord says his pain's left. It's the constant. He keep, the Lord tells me this. And, and I said, okay, your pain has subsided. And he goes, yes. And his and he started, it really is. I said, just be quiet. <laughs> so I can finish here. I want to go home to I said to myself, I want to go home and, and maybe have feed my flesh. <laughs> so he goes, so we finished off like this. We curse you, cancer, in the name of Jesus, because we call those things that are not as though they were. And he, he I said, You're feeling another wave through your flesh from inside outside. I said, do you? He said, you told me not to talk. <laughs> Coming down his face. And he said, man, it's gone. It's gone. I said, yes, Jesus healed you today, 2,000 years ago. But we just made it manifest from the inside to the outside because that is your promise. That's what he said. He says, if you lay your hands on the sick, they shall recover. And my word, I sent my word to heal your disease. That was his word. And it heals disease. It heals all kinds of things that are not from him. I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus fifteen twenty six. Christ has redeemed me or redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, curse it is everyone who hangs on the tree. Say this, Jesus became a curse for me. Jesus became a curse for me. Amen. He took that curse in his body for you. The power of the Holy Spirit is well on the inside of you. It is now manifesting your healing to the outside because you are a son and daughter of God. Amen. Don't turn this channel. Let your mind get renewed in the word of God because it's going to manifest your healing. Look, I'm going through. Good morning, Brother Chris. Stay right where you are. Don't move. You need to hear these words. I need to hear the words. Um, I work so hard in my yard and all around. I really work hard. I, I really press it. For I'll work for seven hours straight in labor. And, and that's not good. I'm supposed to drink water and everything else. But I was fasting and working. And, uh, and I pulled... My back, of course, it wasn't my back, it was my kidney. I wasn't drinking enough water it was sweating and the poisons were coming out. It just needed to be replenished. That's all I needed to do. But I forgot that. <laughs> Not really. I could, I could say, honey, you didn't bring me out water. <laughs> that would have been 
dumb to the second power. Dumb, dumb. You need to take care of your body, saints, because that's what happened to me. My kidney, it, it still has a little pain left in it. I've been speaking the word of God over it. The righteous go through many troubles, but the Lord will deliver you from every single one. This is not the first time I played dumb. Amen. And that probably won't be the last time, but I'm not being a self-fulfilled prophecy. I am healed. Say this. I am healed. I am whole. I am set free. And I'm prospered. Because Jesus says I am. Amen. Say this. He watches over his word to perform it. Say this. In me. In me is the same power, say it, that rose Jesus from the dead, dwells in my mortal body. Amen. I speak to whatever infirmity you have now, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Some of you are saying, whoa, yes. That is the word of God. It is true. Amen. The Lord will sustain, refresh, and strengthen him on his bed of languishing. All his bed, all his bed, you, O oh Lord, will turn, change, transform in his illness because he sent his word, his word he holds above himself, Jesus said. The word of God is powerful. It will cut bone from marrow. Amen. Otherwise, from sickness, from health, he'll cut, he'll cut the sickness and give you health. Amen. He is, it is health to all your flesh. I will not die, say, but live. Declare the works of the Lord. I will not die, but live. And I am declaring the works of the Lord. Say this. No sickness shall enter my dwelling place. I command this sickness, infirmity, to leave my body, my mind, in the name of Jesus. I'm just teaching you what the Lord taught me, how to manifest healings. You are the called out ones. It's not just one pastor or prophet or evangelist that we're here to perfect you and your calling. And your calling is powerful. You are powerful on the inside of you. You are the called out one. Let me help you with that. That's what Jesus sent me here for to do. Just to make and to multiply the disciples so you can tread upon the scorpions and teach others to do the same thing. To call those things out of your mouth that are not as though they were. That's who you are, saints. Let me read some more scripture to you because it'll renew your mind. And whatever I read, it will happen. Amen. Because of the Holy Spirit. It's the gospel. He says, there's some people that have a form of God. It's not you. There's, there, there's a form of godliness, but no power thereof. You will see the power of God manifest in your body, in your life today. I command finances to come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I can. Because <laughs> he said I could. Amen. Pastor Ron says you can command these things to come. I command new jobs and businesses to come, witty inventions to come to the saints and to the people of God, that thoughts of good things and prosperous things will come in the name of Jesus around your family. Be thankful. Thanksgiving is a reminder of being thankful for family. Confess those things that are not as though they were over your family. Otherwise, you don't see them. But when you confess them, they will come from the, 
from the supernatural. It always happens that way. You just don't realize that that's what I'm going to make dinner today and I'm going to have such and such and steak and potatoes and key lime pie. Guess what? Key lime, everything manifests. You go up to the store, you know, he made those products for you. He knew you were going to eat those products. Amen. So let's move on. Your days shall be 120. You shall be buried at a good old age. Genesis 15, 15. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age like as a shock, shock of corn cometh in season. Okay, let's read this. They shall be no one miscarrying a barren in your land. I will fulfill the numbers of your days. I speak, and I've done this before, that your womb opens, only the married ones, that your womb opens in the name of Jesus that you will have child. You're no longer barren. I've done that at a table, and boy, they produce children after that. And, and uh, praise the Lord. Be fruitful, multiply. You women are the blessing of the Lord. You carry the rhema word of God. The seed time and harvest time happens inside of every woman. Amen. It takes nine months, ten months to produce the word of God. A human being. Amen. Wow. You got them. You didn't even do that in faith. You just did that because he said, be fruitful and multiply. He gave you the testosterone and the estrogen uh, to be able to produce. It's already there. It's a law from God. As much as it is a law of healing, I command sickness and blindness to go in the name of Jesus. Man, this back, this kidney, I speak to kidneys right now. I'm going to speak to my own. I speak to kidneys right now to, to manifest the healing of power of God. Wow. His word. I'm feeling that one. That was good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen for your finished work. Amen. That was my back, my kidney being healed. Amen. Oh, Lord, my God, I cry out to you and you healed me. Psalms 30 and 2. David knew where his healing comes from. It comes from the Lord. Amen. It's already done. And your days, so shall your strength be. Oh, be like rock. My eyes will not grow dim and my strength will not abate in the name of Jesus. COVID virus, I curse you on the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to mimic <laughs> the spirit of God on the inside of you. Amen. That's who you are. That's how I got here. That's how everything came. I'm telling you, saints, Matthew 6, 33, first seek the kingdom of God. If you first seek the kingdom of God every day and all day long, and his righteousness, knowing that you are the righteousness of God. You have right standing with God. That was a mystery. Mysteries are told to the disciples. These mysteries are being revealed to you today. Very powerful words of God. Wow. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I say peace on to you. All your troubles are gone. They're all melted away. Why? Because you are focusing on the word of God. Go right now. All despondency, go. I call food in when food is not there. And the people of and around the world that with the inventions will go. I say that these bad businesses like Facebook crumble. These people see that the prosperity leaves them in an hour's time. In the name of Jesus, I command this and I command all of this wealth from Egypt to come on the saints of God, the people of God, because he's going to speak to you now. You're starting to see news medias. I've been prophesying this for a while because I can. 
because I'm filled with the Spirit of God. I'm just telling you who you are. Amen? So if you hear me saying this, you can do the same thing. You declare and decree and de command. Because if you are and you are a disciple of Christ, an, amb an ambassador, an ambassador, it's very powerful. They have an army back in them. Yes, you do. Angel armies. They watch over that word to perform it. They'll come and give you a word in due season if you can't hear. One time, a couple angels came, but we won't go there today because we're talking about healing. And be not grieved and depressed. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep the joy. Don't listen to the left. And the joy of the Lord is your strength and stronghold. See, that's in Nehemiah. Nehemiah 8.10 in the Amplified. Wow, I love it when my wife amplifies her words. She'll give me a good long talk. Amen, because that's what he made them for. Amen, I speak the blessings of God and protection upon each woman that is listening here today. That I call in, if you're desiring a husband, a husband of good character that is filled with the power of God that will love you like Jesus loves you. But you will give him grace when he is tired and give him a cup of something cold. <laughs> That's a word for somebody. When your husband comes home, make sure you don't say nothing about problems. Just give him some food, give him some time. This is simple. And, and, then, and then start talking to him. Remember, you are very powerful women of God. Jesus had women feeding him, Mary and Mary and Martha. Come on. Paul had Lydia. He went to her house and got nourished. Amen. You nourish the people of God. You nourish children. You're very powerful. You can win a person without a word. Just the giftings of discernment. They call it premonition, but I call it the Holy Spirit built into the women. All right, sorry about that. Let's move on. Um, I was stopped from talking to you guys today by Facebook. I'm telling you, I was bombarded. Uh, I know that MSN, I just curse that now in the name of Jesus, Microsoft, there's going to be a new type of, a new, who? I really don't care. Just turn it off because this is more important. The people of God is more important. I don't care about that. In the name of Jesus, you are more important. So don't, these are distractions. You have to realize, and they're good distractions. Sometimes they're good. Distractions sometimes are good. But I would want to tell you more about the Word of God. And and uh, so we can have these things manifest in your orphanages. Amen? Because we're calling multiplication today. Because we can. We're saying food, multiply. Finance, multiply. Thank you, Father, that there's an abundance in heaven that we're calling down on earth today. Renew your mind in the word of God today. Remember, a joyful heart is good as medicine, but a broken spirit dries up bones. So I speak to a broken spirit right now. Dry, uh, those bones come alive again today that you will feel the effects of the Lord today on your bones and your situation. A supernatural joy coming and bubbling up from the bottom. All oppression is broken now. Every assignment that was put upon you is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. I like getting violent because uh, the violent take it by force. That's violence in the spirit. Amen. Some of you are in countries that are bad dictators. Don't stop because there's a few dying. They went home to be with the Lord. Amen. Make sure you call those things that are not as though they were. Amen. Uganda, fight the good fight of faith. Don't shrink back. We didn't shrink back here, and we're not in the United States. They're still trying, 
And this fight has always been here. It's just been revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's why you're seeing truth and you're seeing life. Because is, is here on the earth. Amen. So we thank you, Father. South Africa, we're so happy that you are here. The gospel. There are South Africans that are here right now as missionaries in the United States, bringing the good news. I know a few of them. I'm going to go visit their church. You are welcome here as missionaries in the United States. This is the time to come and to create missions. And don't forget about your churches and your orphanages that you're going to hand over and give to. Amen. There is a time right now of, of a great transference of wealth. Make sure you talk to the Lord where to invest, where to where to prosper. If you're a businessman, it's time to buy real estate, buy apartment buildings, amen. Sell your houses and get the maximum amount and go to the lands where it is prosperous. I'm telling you, the stock market is going wild. He'll tell you what stocks and penny stocks to to uh, put your you put your money into now some of you are going to get this and some of you will get it later but i got it later and i got it now and i've seen it pass me before but this time it's not going to pass me i am going to say mark uh matthew 6:33 we are seeking the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you the lord wants you to know as you're coming out of egypt that all the silver and gold and none of you are going to be feeble amongst you now you're being activated as a son and daughter of god remember you're being activated you're going to see things that you have not seen before you're going to hear things that you have not heard before do not be alarmed when they say there's going to be wars and rumors of wars jesus told us that there will be but remember you need to speak out of your mouth people of god called out ones start confessing the scripture out of your mouth and even in the midst of turning Amen. If you are afflicted, speak the word of God out of your mouth. I'm telling you today, the, the word of God, they did not want you to hear the word of God. I prayed over this film. I had to come out of the studio. There was updates. They're trying to grab my privacy. They're trying to hammer. They're trying. I rebuked them in the name of Jesus. New agencies new news agencies are coming alive new businesses are happening for the saints because you're coming out of egypt the time of darkness and coming into a new era there is shifts going on inside of every born again believer you are identifying who you are in christ that you are powerful that when you speak the word of god and believe that more than your pain in your back or cancer i rebuke you in the name of jesus malnutrition you go in the name of jesus hallelujah I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit baptism now in the name of Jesus. Take your prayer language and start praying in tongues now. It's only a confirmation, Jenna. You were brought for this time. All of you on this season inside of this this time in listening to this video, you were brought here by the Holy Spirit. I just get to speak this out of my mouth. After this film is done, I move on like you in the power of God that was given to you when you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You've been zosoed. You put your SOS up, your hands up in the air, and you've been zosoed, saved from damnation. Not only saved, but you were healed instantly in your spirit, set free, prospered, and have an abundant life. You have a new identity. Your old nature, flesh, died. 
You still got flesh hanging on you. But your new nature came. And that new nature is Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, living on the inside of you. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Write it down. Meditate on the word. Day and night. Do all that it says within it. Then you will make your ways process because you'll have the power of God through meditation. Amen. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says who? Says the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Not to harm you, but to give you a hope, an expected end, and a future. Amen. You were brought to this video for this time. When you stop from this video, things are going to shift with power. When you lay your hands on the sick, go find yourself some sick. They will recover. Command them infirmities. Just say infirmity, leave. Because the word of God told you to do that. Then do it. Be simple. Be like little children. Listen to him or listen to Pastor Ron too. Amen. Because I'm only speaking what the word of God says. I speak Psalms 91 over you right now. That no deadly plague shall enter your dwelling. I curse that virus in your family members and some that were sick. And I speak the ones that died to come back alive. Now, death spirit, leave life. Come back into their bodies now in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I can. Because you can. You can raise the dead. Hey, man, when you get your first dead raised, you're going to jump around. Hey, man, I think the first one that I've seen, but I can remember when my wife came back alive. Amen. <laughs> a neighbor watched her come back alive. Even the bugs that were laying on the ground came back alive. I was serious. The power of God emanated from your body. When you speak those things that are not as though they were, the Holy Spirit, the shadow that Paul has and Peter has when they walk past people, they will manifest healing. You will see this. You, it's been happening anyway. You just are uh, eyes open to the fact of this power of God on the inside of you. Amen. So I'm not going to stop until I see a zero count on life. And I have it. You are called. Ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Say, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues. Say that. The gift of tongues is mine. Thank you, Father, that you have baptized me in the Holy Spirit. The Raymer word of God come inside of you. Yes, wake up brain injury. That's right. Come on, give John Anderson, Elaine McGovern. Please use this. Pray for one another on the site here. Speak those things. You're allowed to pray for another person and command that brain to work again. I thank you, Ellen McGovern. Thank you so much for praying for that person and using your giftings. You're allowed to do that on my site. You're allowed to pray for one another because it really isn't my site. It's Jesus' sight. I belong to Jesus. You belong to the King of Kings, and you He lived, He chose to live on the inside of you because you are a born again. What it means by being born again, your spirit became brand new. Some people won't feel that. Some people will because their flesh had demons on it before they were born again. But when you're born again, you have been delivered. Don't let anybody try to deliver you when you're born again because they can't. That means they're cursing you, right? Many are asleep, have fallen asleep because they're not communion with the Lord. That's communion. That's what you need to remember. I, you know, I, I did a communion service and for two years I had to figure it out that People were jumping out of their wheelchairs because of the word of God. I had to get it on the inside of me that the word of God was already complete, done. And, and I was watching this. 
You're going to see people jump out of chairs because you're going to command them to come out. It's not your business whether they believe or not. It's your business to speak the word of God. Go out and heal the sick. Go out today and lead them. We have stuff inside of New Identity Ministries that belong. This belongs to God, this whole ministry, everything. I only do this for Jesus. I get excited when I start to do it because there is a joy. I hear heaven inside of me saying, yeah, go out and get my loved ones and tell them about Jesus so we can be with them forever. Come on, and when it's all said and done, you're home. You're going to come through this cloud. You're going to hear heaven roaring, and your family members will be there, but not right yet. You have to go out and get the harvest. Amen. And every time you do, there is a worship room, a praise room where angels and the saints are. When someone receives Jesus, the roar is so loud. It's a constant roar. And when you come through that great cloud, this portal, I've seen it many times. When you come through, you'll be just amazed. You won't even know but it, every tear is wiping from your eye at that point. You're, you'll be like John, the beloved. <laughs> you'll be like, and your mommy and your children and your loved ones will grab you by your hand and lead you and teach you about what the new laws are. But right now, the harvest is ripe and the laborers are few. You need to go to the highways and the byways. And we got pamphlets you can do this with. It's so easy now. I needed these pamphlets when I was first born again. No one had them. It's been on my heart my whole life. And, and the disciples of Christ wrote these pamphlets for you. I just preached the gospel. They wrote it down what the Holy Spirit told them to write down and Man, we're seeing churches being born all over the world with these pamphlets. Take them and put your own name on the back of them because it's Jesus' name on the front of them. <laughs> It'll teach you how to, to, to minister what happened when I received Jesus as Lord. These pamphlets are made for you, church. Why water baptism? Download them. They're for free. Our, our donors, the people that have been sowing into this ministry, one person gave $2,000 to this ministry. And, and I never thought this person of this person before. And his business phone won't stop because it's Jesus' ministry. So we gave that $2,000 to poor families in other parts of the earth so they can receive the gospel. Once they received the gospel, they planted fields. They took the widow women, many of them. And they're buying sewing machines. And they're opening up factories and selling dresses. You can't make this up. And then, because I'm sowing the seed where Jesus told me to sow the seed. Amen? Amen? You look, I command seed to come to you now. Don't eat your seed, okay? And, and, uh, I, and I say, bread for the eater and seed for the sower. Amen. And when this abundance comes, sow it in the ground where Jesus tells you to. Hopefully some of it will come back over here so I can sow some more seed to people on earth so they can receive the gospel. It's not just about giving money. It's about giving the gospel, but they need to be sustained. Jesus fed the 5,000. Amen. Amen. He had to sustain them. He fed them spiritual food and he told the disciples, they said, should we go to the marketplace and get some food? He goes, no, just sit down and watch this. <laughs> he took them, he took and multiplied those baskets. Come on, we're going to see supernatural provision like we have been, even more so as we keep our minds stayed fast on the word of God. Say this, I love the word of God because it is truth. Amen. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. What? Is that what the word says? Yes. Ho oh, ho. Psalms 107, 20. David knew. David fought evil. He fought evil rulers. It's no different today. He told Peter to take two swords. He told them to take two swords. That's enough. The word of God and something to protect yourself with. 
Amen. Now, there is going to be some martyrs. That's fine if they catch you. Amen. That's right. Your head comes off and you're home with Jesus. And then, then at that point, wow, the Lord stands up like he does with Stephen. He stands up and says, wow, look at Stephen in the pit. He did this for me. You see that guy over there, Saul, the one that was just like a Muslim? You see him? And, and Stephen jumps out of his body before the second rock hit. And Jesus said to him, he put his arm around him as all heaven up, opened up around him. And he said, Stephen, you see that guy next to, next to your body that's still beating? You, you see that man, Saul? He'll take it from here. And bloop, he went. He took him into to meet his family. Amen. So we win. We win. We win. We speak over President Trump right now. The gospel is in the White House because you spoke it there. Don't grow weary in well-doing. In due time, you shall reap the reward if you faint not. Don't faint on President Trump. Do not faint. Do not faint, I say. Do not faint on it. Confess over him. We speak today that the Supreme Court, the hearts of the magistrates will be massaged. We stop this millennial software. We speak to socialism. Satan, in the name of Jesus, you are caught. You stop now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. The Lord is sovereign but he is not in control. You are in control of your destiny. Amen. You are in control of where you're going to go and how rich you're going to be and where you're going to sow your money. Solomon was in control of his destiny. The Lord asked him, what would you like? He said, oh, Lord, let it be your will. Whatever happens, so rah, 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 whatever will be. No, he did not. What he said, give me wisdom. Ooh, did he have the wisdom of God? I just ate me a, a nice pomegranate and thought about him. Sometimes he got, that multi-trillionaire got stupid. Most of them do because, the, because of the money. So you got to be careful when you do get this wealth that you don't get taken off. Do not Take the earmarks of these wicked people. Listen to Pastor Ron. Do not take the money. Do not take the money. Do it for Jesus. He'll give you the money. Don't sell yourself short. Some of it belongs to you and some of it doesn't. Remember what Abraham said to the king? If you give me money, then you, Satan, said that you got me rich. And the Lord is one that makes rich and brings no trouble with it. Amen. He wants you to prosper. He wants to lavish you for a reason, for you to be, so you can send your kids to anywhere, to good schools, so your family can be wonderful. But not only that, skim it off the top. Give the seed that he gave you to sow. Remember, it's seed time and harvest time. Whatever you sow into your heart, whatever a man's in his heart, so is he. he. Whatever a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Now you think upon the word of God, Pastor Ron said. Say this, I am, say it, I am the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. Amen. I, you have been saved by grace through faith and not of yourselves. It was a gift of God, even the grace and the faith. He gave you the grace and the faith to get saved. You still use that seed, that mustard seed of faith that he already gave to everybody in the world to get saved without excuse. Jesus rose and gave that faith to everybody to get saved and that grace to get saved. So don't worry about what your children are thinking. Just keep loving them. Keep being like Jesus. Don't be the gospel to them. Because Jesus is coming and he's pursuing them to love them just like he did you. Amen. He pulled you out of hell, right? Amen. And he gave you a new spirit, his spirit. Amen. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in your mortal body. I'm going to say these scriptures over and over because it helps me to acknowledge and it sets you on fire. Amen. And that fire is meant for others to receive and for you to be joyful. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Contend with that. 
Let's read some more word here. I got a hundred scriptures, but I only went through five. <laughs> Woo! And the Lord will take away from you all sickness. Deuteronomy 7.15. That <laughs> All sickness goes now in the name of Jesus. Amen. No evil shall be for you, nor any plague come near your dwelling place. You know which one that is. That's Psalms 91.10. The scripture before that was Deuteronomy 7.15. Hear my son and receive my sayings. And the years of your life will be many proverbs. 4.10. Wow. Proverbs 4.10. We're on 24 now. This is the 24th scripture that I have added to this benefits package. Ooh, do you want it? Say, Pastor Ron, I want the rest of these words. I want them on a scripture card. And I want them on the site. And I, and I want to be able to. You can come to this site anytime you need to. Send people to it. To New Identity Ministries. It's right down on the bottom. Tell them to click on store and download the pamphlets. You don't even need to carry it with you. Just tell them to go there. Amen. Amen. Um, I, I, I have an apostate. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm called to the world. I'm called to the churches. Amen. I'm here to bring life and that life more abundantly. I will tell you the truth. I have to. I'm in love with Jesus. I'm in love with the creator of the universe. He gave me this love in Jude chapter 20 when I pray in tongues. I keep myself in the love of God. Jude chapter 20. Amen. He even gave me this agape love. <laughs> Some of you are getting words. I want you to put those words on the screen. I want you to put the scriptures that you're hearing from the Holy Spirit on the screen. I want you to minister to one another because that's what the Lord is saying right now. All right. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. I just prayed in tongues. That was a word of knowledge. Amen. Amen. So you just eyes open, ears open now in the spiritual realm. In the name of Jesus, Ephesians 1, 19 through 27. That you get revelation, knowledge of knowing who you are and what you're called for. Amen. You see it inside of you. Amen. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Depart, do not let it depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. And healed to all, healing to all their body. Proverbs 4.20 and 22. The word of God. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's everlasting through generations. This is the greatest generation ever made because there's people like Paul and Peter more because they're on the shoulders listening to the Holy Spirit, listening to their experiences and seeing the word of God coming from the inside to the outside. That's who you are. You were made for this day. Holy Spirit says, pray for the spirit of God. Trump, that depression leaves, that this boldness and fight comes up on, the, that's what you've been seeing, on the inside of him. As a new Christian, he's a new Christian. He brought Jesus Christ back to the White House. Devil is mad. They're trying to curse a la uh, the Pontus, the Pontus wife, the Flotus. We speak encouragement to her. We thank you for the steel look on the inside of her that she hears your word and she stands in the face of an adulterous generation and brings them to their knees receiving, saying, I need Jesus. As soon as you say this, you receive Jesus. 
Jesus. Just say, Jesus, call, shout his name. He will come to you like a father to a son because that's the way it was made. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Pray for one another on this site. Call those things that are not. I'm going to pray in the spirit. Some of you is going to have the interpretation. Please give me that interpretation for I need to hear also what other giftings from the other, from the from the saints, from the saints of God. I need to hear your giftings. The power of God. Now I pause for that word to be spoken. Someone has got that word. Type it out. Put it online. Use your gifting now. It's okay. You're fine here. You're safe. Use your giftings. Now it could be a short word. I, sometimes I just got a word called love and I, that's all I said and the power of God struck everybody so much that they just wept because the love of Christ came speak your words and put your words up online right now use your gifting hone it it's a safe place to hone with Pastor Ron I'm here to perfect the saints in their calling amen I'm not here to point out sin that is Satan that points out sin Amen. God, God's going to convict you of righteousness. That's the only place there's conviction of. It's of his righteousness. He's going to convict you of righteousness and love. And he's filled you with love, with power, love, and a sound mind, saints. Everything else falls to the submission of God, the spirit of fear. We just say to you, go in the name of Jesus. Everything left anyway. You know why? Because us believers are here coming into agreement. Agreement is powerful. I don't see your chats right now, but that's okay. I, I don't need to. You take care of the work, saints, on the site here. Amen? Take care of the works. Give the word of God to the people today. Start speaking. Yes, because you were brought here by the Holy Spirit. You are hearing things because the Holy Spirit is revealing to you today. It's just, I'm a mouthpiece for the Lord. Amen. I don't, I, look, I take credit in one thing. I'm opening my mouth. Ha. Ha. That's all you need to do is open your mouth and let the river come out. You are the river of life. Let it flow out of your mouth. Amen. I will not stop this little saying. It's not little. I have this great meeting. So right now we speak to the presidency. We speak to the lawyers that it'll be that they will have the mind of Christ as they go in and expose that source and these people. It's always been this way. Evil's always been here, but we confound the evil. We say that there's fighting in their camps. Listen to me. There's fighting in their camps and they're running. They're running. They don't know what to do because they don't have the spirit of God. Confusion is coming upon them. We say spirit of stupor, Go in the name of Jesus upon them that they will not be able to shut their mouths now in the name of Jesus. Bring salvation. I say harvesters go to them and some will be saved because some hearts are so hardened that they became sons and daughters of perdition. It took time for them to get there. God was pursuing them the whole time. It's not up to us to call them sons of the daughters. Of the, it's up to us to go minister the word of God. And if demons come out of their mouths, tell them to be quiet. Now, in the name of Jesus, you can, you're allowed to do that. When you're speaking to a person that's bound, just tell it to be quiet. Very softly, quiet in the name of Jesus. That's what I usually do. And I say, hi, David, how are you? And they say, I'm doing great. I said, hey, I was brought here to talk to you about Jesus. Is that okay? And he, and he would say, yes. But some of them can't even confess Jesus at that point. They just need to listen to you. And they make the decision and they become saved. And as soon as they're saved, the demons come out. I watch it. There's, sometimes there's no even no manifestation. All they say is, wow, I never felt this way before. 
You don't need to be delivered because you already are. If you're a born again believer, say, I am delivered. Say this, Jesus became a curse for me. I'm not even cursed. I don't have family curses anymore. Amen. Because Jesus became a curse for me. Amen. He's caused me to prosper and be in good health. Third John 2, you are his beloved. Say that. I am his beloved. Now, John said, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospers, your soul's prospering right now because it's the word of God. It's the anointing on the word of God. It's the power of the Holy Spirit that lives on every inside of every born again believer. That's who you are. You are children of the light. When you show up, things become light. That's why you're being rejected. And that's why some people, and they don't know what they're doing. Just tell them to be quiet. The devil's quiet in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the light in the eyes of him, I'm reading the scripture, whose heart is joyful, rejoices the heart of others. And good news, listen, good news nourishes the bones. Proverbs 15, 30 in the Amplified vision, vision, the, the, re, Revision. Amen. Be not wise in thy own heart, okay, in thy own eyes, on own eyes. Reverently fear and worship the Lord and turn entirely from your, well, you know what evil is? Here it is. God's not calling you evil. Evil is, is when you give inroads to Satan by unbelief. It's just caused by lack of knowledge and not renewing your mind in the word of God. That's all it's caused by saints. He says, the double-minded, double-minded means that you're thinking about the worldly things and you're thinking about the spiritual things. He says, double mind man, don't think that you'll receive anything from the Lord. Well, you can't at that point. So, but you're single-minded now. You are being single-minded. You are focusing on the word of God and not sin because Jesus took care of your sin. Past, present, and future. Amen. Now, sin is stupid. Right? And it can give an inroad to sickness and these demons. Amen? So right now, just say this. You cannot have my mind no longer. My mind is filled with the spirit of the word. I have the spirit of the word in my mind. I cast down every stronghold and imagination that rises itself up against the knowledge of God. I rightly divide the word of truth because truth is in me and it proceeds out of my mouth and it will watch over automatically and do what it says in the word of God because I am light. Say this, I am the disciple that Jesus loves. Say it, I am the disciple that Jesus loves. So then brace up and revigorate and set right your slackened and weakened. It says here to strengthen it up through the word of God. Amen. All right. Pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the mind and healing to the body. Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words. Start speaking, speaking pleasant words over you. What happens? Let me, let me, let me explain the body as I know it. The body works by the word of God because that's the way it was formed through the word of God. When you start speaking good words and your body will be affected, your dopamine will go up through the roof. Your endorphins will come alive in your cells. It'll be great cell to cell communication. And that's how cancer leaves. Did you get that? Meditation on the word of God will have your body react to what it says. When you meditate on the word of God day and night, and you do all that it says within it, just confess it out of your mouth. Mark 11, 23 and 24, write it down. Mark eleven twenty two 22 says you have the faith of God in the Greek. He has given each man the measure of faith to believe in him. That same saving faith, that mustard seed of faith, he talks about if you have a mustard seed of faith, 
You can say, go say to those mountains, be removed, and they will be removed for you. My back, my kidney is now healed in the name of Jesus. I got to stand up for a second. In the name of Jesus. Ha! Karika Daba. Kidney is now healed. Amen. Cancer is now gone. So I, sometimes I, I get, my body gets, my body hurts sometimes. Sometimes. But I have the word of God to be able to confess it against that pain. Pain leave the body now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get up and walk. Now. Get up and fight. See how Pastor Ron got up? He got up when there were sharp pains in his kidney. No more. I'll get up again just to make sure because I'm going to work my faith right now. Watch. Oh, shady kadaya bahanaya. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, the word of God is strength. The eyes of the blind will be open and the ears of the deaf will be unstopped. Isaiah 35, 5. That's what the word of God said. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, shall change and renew their strength. Your strength is getting renewed now. And power. They shall lift their wings and mount up. Mount up close to God. As eagles mount up to the sun, S-U-N. They shall lift their wings and mount up and close. Wow. And faint not. Or become tired. Isaiah 40, 31. Tiredness, I speak right now. I say good sleep to you and tiredness goes in the name of Jesus on the inside of you. Right now, the power of God is manifesting. Amen. 34. This is number 34. I've been skipping over a couple. He gives power to the faint and weary. And to him who has no might, he, he increases strength, causing it to multiply and making it abound. Isaiah 40 and 29. Make sure you put your, that's right, put your words up there. Put your words up on the screen. I want you to confess what you've been hearing in the spirit today on the screen. Type it on the screen. Get excited. Some of you are trembling in your body because the power of God is surging like never before. Say they become, some people, they will come to me and they'll come to you. See the whiteness going on my face? That's the Holy Ghost bringing health to my flesh. Amen. Because the word of God brings health to your bones and marrow. It brings strength to you. And you will hear today what he has to say to you. And it happened when he was in a certain city that behold a man who was full of leprosy, full of COVID. They come to me, some of them, and not in the last two weeks. Sorry, you're not going to cancel. They called me up on the phone because I came off a plane. I'm going to, and they, and they tried contact tracing called me today, yesterday. And I wasn't able to answer the phone because I was so busy. And I really don't have their phone number because the phone number is gone. But no deadly plague. My whole plane was healthy because I confessed over the whole plane, Psalms 91. Amen. Remember when Jesus told them to go to the other side, he compelled them. He pushed them in the chest. He pushed me on the plane. Oh. <laughs> and my wife, he pushed my wife on the plane too with me. And, and here we are in the plane. And I confessed Psalms 91 over the plane. I said, no one. And I read the scripture when Jesus compelled them to get into the plane. I mean, the boat, the plane. Huh? And and what happened was this. They went out. They knew they were going into a storm. They seen the sky red. Peter understood the sea. He was a fisherman. <laughs> he compelled them to get in the boat. Peter did it because of his pride because <laughs> he still had a lot of it we still have a lot he still loves us and he'll compel us compel us to get in the boat and he went to the storm and everybody was throwing up seawater 
because their boat was swamped. The wind was blowing against them, what normally takes them an hour. They only got two hours in there in the same place rowing and the boat was swamped and they were breathing in through their nose seawater throwing up green dehydrated feeling terrible and peter was trying to tell them what to do but they're yelling we're going to die and then they saw this ghost walking out the water they went i won't scream loud i promise ah! imagine all of them and peter's like I, I just need to get out of this boat these people are going to die because they're not listening. He said, Lord, if it's you, get me out of this boat from these crying memes <laughs> so I can help them at least because Peter always helped his brethren. And he got out on the water and a couple waves slapped him in his face. And the Lord was just saying this, depend upon me. When I give you a word that we're going to the other side, we're going to the other side. He even said that to Peter. So he just grabbed Peter's hand. So this way they'll be all in the same boat together because we are in the same boat together. He pulled Peter and he walked up. And you know what he said? Quiet. The people in the other boats were saved and they were echoing on the water, Jesus' voice. Guess what? The whole plane was saved. What was meant for bad because you showed up, good is going to happen. You are just like he is. And guess what happened? Have you been transported yet? You will be. You keep hold of the word of God. You're going to see multiplication. You're going to see, you're going to start just like little Sean. I don't know if you know this worship leader. He figured that uh, the COVID came and no one else is going to be out there. So he went to the Golden Gate Bridge in the middle. While people were jumping off, he was praising the Lord. Police officers all around, they couldn't bother him because they were trying to grab the people from jumping off the bridge. And he's in his, he was a worship leader, just a, a disciple of Christ. He was a called out one. He did what the Lord told him to do, go worship up on the bridge. And he did. He worshiped on the bridge. Just do what he tells you to do. And as he was strumming along in his t-shirt, his five dollars in his front pocket. His family was home. He had kids and his wife. And he started praising the Lord and other people started praising with him. And they didn't stop. And then he gave him his second one. He said, go to the beach. Sean went to the beach and he said, go where Black Lives Matter was, up in Washington, in the same exact spot. I watched the whole thing because the Holy Spirit let me. I prayed for him and I confessed the word of God over him. I wanted to be there with him. Most of the time, I'm not able to be there with you folks, but I, I will confess those things and I will see them and I'll confess them. And some of, one of you are going to run with it. One of you are going to run with what the Lord is saying here with this fire. And what he did was he went there and he started baptizing people after praising. The cops tried to shut him down. The government tried to shut him down. Well, he ended up in other cities in Los Angeles. He ended up on the East Coast. He ended up with his hands months later on the president of the united states praying for him come on saints that's who you are take whatever's in your hand whatever's in your hand take it and use it and he'll multiply it for you you will see yourself as jesus sees him love people love god come against the evil with good amen amen through the power of the holy spirit well, we've been on for a while today. Satan tried to stop this a couple times. For me coming on, I had to go on my phone. They can't stop my service on the phone. And right now they're too busy trying to put out the other fires uh, all over Facebook. Make sure you keep setting fires. Don't leave Facebook. Stay on there too. It's going to dissolve sooner or later. It's, and, but the, the evil and the evil money will always be there. But remember, this what's going to happen. Heads are going to roll and accounts are going to be seized. And there's going to be people tried for treason. and it's not going to be a great time seeing this happen to people. Amen. But the evil, because they did not repent and turn to the Lord Jesus, that, 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 that they're going to be tried with law and with fire, a different fire. 
And he says, obey, obey all magistrates. Amen. Obey the laws of the land. They, at least they have a way with you. This is going to be not a pleasant sight to see, but it's going to happen because evil and abortion is going to be overturned. The president is going to be put back into his seat and Jesus is going to be worshiped in the White House. Mark my words today. And I'm not trying to be Mr. Doodad or Brother Prophet. I'm just speaking what the Lord is telling me to say with the word of God. Amen. Because the same power that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you. Love you. Remember, go to New Identity Ministries website. Sow your seed of faith. If you have a few dollars, sow it in there. I will sow it into the ground for you and I'll watch it produce. Because I'm already taken care of because he told me where to invest. Amen. Because of the word of God. Thank you for letting me speak into your life today. The Lord says that he is close to the brokenhearted. Amen. Be blessed. Beyond, um, I might give a word tomorrow. Just make sure you click notifications here so you can hear the word of God. Thank you, Lord, for letting me serve your people.